Hey, hi guys. Rusty7 8609 in Central Texas, USA, living the life of total opulent luxury in my 26 foot Jayco J Flight bunkhouse travel trailer at my home base in Central Texas. I want to look good. 5.02 p.m. It doesn't get any better. Uh, this is Thursday. It's uh, windy, dry, very dry. And uh, first I'll do a little housekeeping. Then I'm going to do a video about van camping just or, or doing things different. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I did get my eyes checked today. Everything was perfect. I didn't, he didn't even change the prescription. I haven't seen him. I haven't been to an optometrist in four years. And my prescription didn't even change. So that was amazing. I even told him, I said, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's a first. But anyway, uh, it was great. But I'm amazed at what they can do. So, so that's the end of that stuff. But I got this great comment here, or comment that I can relate to, okay? It says, hey, Rusty, love your videos. I just started living in my van in Canada. Could you do some videos on the attitudes you have to have for this way of living and how to handle friends and relatives who are giving you or giving her or it a really bad time about it. Not everyone likes this way of living and I'm not sure why. Welcome to the world. Viva la difference. Let me tell you what. I'll give you a simple example. Of course, I grew up in South Texas on a farm, poor as dirt. You know, everybody wore boots, cowboy boots, Levi's jeans, big belts with big buckles and cowboy hats. And now I live in an area of Central Texas, and that's pretty much the dress code for the men in this area. All right? And, uh, and here I come in a V-neck monogram t-shirt in my blue and white Crocs and shorts with no hat. You feel like an outsider, right? And they'll point that out. Where'd you get them shoes, dude? I want to say, where'd you get them fucking, excuse me, those boots, cowboy. But no, but I used to be one, so I understand that's the way it is. That's a way of life. It's a cultural thing, a community thing. And that's what you got to deal with everywhere you go in life, okay? It's not going to get any better anywhere you go. You know, you're talking about friends and relatives that don't like what you're trying to accomplish. All I can tell you is, <laughs> forget them. It's your life, right? Shit. I mean, it, it's you. I mean, don't even worry about it. I mean, I've been an outsider all my life. I was a hippie in the 60s and got drafted and, you know, but... I've always questioned authority, and it's always, it's cost me. Yeah, I've, I've paid a price for that, you know. And, and you, you, anytime you try to do something different from the, quote, norm, you're going to pay a, a price, and it's going to be a little ridicule, a little, well, I just can't believe you're doing this. You must be crazy, you know. Oh, man, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't live like that. You're going to hear that. I mean, I hear I live in a 26-foot Jayco uh, uh, travel trailer, and uh, I hear it from people I know. I just can't believe you live in a travel trailer. I, I just, man, I, I just couldn't do it. In fact, I had some people call me trailer trash one time. Do I give a damn what they think? No, 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 no. And you say no, not everyone likes this way of living, and you're not sure why. They're not sure either. They don't know why they don't like it. It's just different. Anytime you do something different, you're going to be picked on. I guarantee you, anytime, if you wear your hair too long, if you put paint, you, know, you, you see people with purple hair and earrings and in their nose and in their lips, you know, of course, they know, they know that, that, uh, that people are going to notice that. That's why they do it. And they have to pay a price for that. The price is what? Being an outsider, you know, that's going to be it. But on the other hand, if you pick your own path in life, 
Now, I don't know how old you are. I don't care. It fit everybody. This shoe fits every foot. Choose your path. Your path. You got me? And stay on it. You're going to get some ridicule. I guarantee. I don't care what you do in life. I mean, it's like people love to pick on other people, particularly if, you, if you're happy. Oh, if you're happy, you're screwed. Because if you're happy living in the van, that, that's a double dip. You have really screwed up then. Because not only are you supposed to be miserable, uh, you, you, you're not supposed to be living in the van. Because that's not the way things are done. You're supposed to get a three-bedroom, two-bath home on a, a tenth of an acre lot and, and listen to your neighbors yell and dogs bark and all that stuff and have a, a lot of crap that you don't need. The fact that you have chosen to live a minimalist lifestyle, living in a van, I mean again, you know, I've gone camping in a Prius and it's less space than a van. The fact that you've chosen that lifestyle threatens their lifestyle. You're a threat. Because what they're thinking is, particularly if you're around some people that are married, they're thinking that you might infect their husband or their wife or their boyfriend or their girlfriend and they might want to do that. Boy, wouldn't that screw up the whole universe? But, that, but that's just the way it is. I guarantee you. It's like you dropped a little pebble in a small pond and the ripples went out and it affects everybody. You have disturbed the wah of the community. In other words, there's a way things are done in this area, and you're not doing them. So what? Do what you do, and do it well. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Just, you know, look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, I'm me. This is the way I choose to live. If you can say that, with a fairly clear conscience, in other words, you, you really do choose this lifestyle over others, then don't worry about it. You know, uh, you take that little van you've got and go somewhere else. You know, if it gets to be a burden, I mean, if they really start to pick on you or, you know, you, you don't want to, you just don't want to deal with it, you don't have to. Let me tell you, another thing I just thought about, avoid problems and issues like that. If you can avoid it, do it. There's, it doesn't mean you're a coward or you're scared to face up to it or whatever. If you avoid getting shot in the head, does that mean you're a coward? No. It means you're smart. So stay smart. You know, avoid situations where you're going to be frustrated or it's going to run your blood pressure up or you're not going to feel comfortable and you feel like you're going to lose some friends or your relatives are going to conspire against you and all this stuff. Believe me, honey, I have heard it all, not all my life, but I would say I'm 71. I've probably heard it for, I would say at least 50 years or more because I've always been a little out on the fringe, always. D do I enjoy that life? I do what I want to do. And, and that's the way I think everyone should live. D do I notice other lifestyles? and say to myself, boy, look at that weirdo. Yeah, hell yeah, that's just perfectly normal. But does that mean I'm going to go over there and tell them that they're not supposed to do what they're doing? No. They can do whatever the hell they want to do. I just may not like it, and I notice that it's different. We, the animal in us notices differences because that was a defense me mechanism 50,000 years ago when we were just getting started. You had to notice differences. Otherwise, that difference may eat you. So, just be aware. And we're also more negative than positive. We are. And the reason we're more negative than pos positive is because of the old animal instincts that started millions of years ago. You know, you had to notice that little rustling in the bush and all that kind of stuff. And you had to be on alert because that's how you survived. And those little survival instincts uh, translated into characteristics which now... Uh, the balance in our mind is more negative than positive. It really is. I mean, we want to watch news that shows 
bombs and wars and when you ever people go to a, a NASCAR race they're not there to see the cars just zoom around the track without any accidents they want to see that 10 car pile up same way in football they want to see somebody rip a guy's helmet off and his head still in it you see what I mean so knowing that knowing that be comfortable inside of you that, and then don't worry about the other stuff make yourself mentally bulletproof stand guard at the door of your mind if somebody hits you with a negative comment don't say anything first that'll that that'll make them angry the fact that you didn't respond you know if somebody says I just can't believe you live like that say thank you thank you that'll blow their mind or how about this if they really get on you and well you're just so stupid for living like that you're a damn fool I can't believe you live like that god damn I mean I'm gonna tell your mama on you and then you look them right in the eyes and say I forgive you you know what that does you just froze them try it guarantee you, it's the simple things man do the reverse of what the other person expects you to do you know, when they hit you with negative stuff, they expect you to resp respond with more negative stuff. You know, if you don't, if you respond with a smile, like, so what, or whatever, or just don't resp if you don't respond at all, that's a killer. That's a killer. Just look at them, smile, and walk off. That's a killer. That's a killer. You might be. You, you might want to get ready for a fist fight then, because they, they're ready for that. But having said that, you, you just got my. You know, you kind of hit a nerve. You know, it says. You know, I love. I uh, just started living in my van in Canada. Well, that's great. It's your life, and if it's a mistake, you'll know it. You don't need anybody to point it out to you. You don't need somebody to come tell you that you, you're miserable in your new van life. You'll know it, and if you are. Go change right back to something else and keep changing. Change all your life. You know, just keep changing. Adapt. It says, uh, could you attitude? It says, could you do some videos on the attitudes you have have to have for this way of living? Well, I'll tell you what you got to have is the attitude of being bulletproof and standing guard at the door of your mind. You know, mentally bulletproof. Boy, that screws them up. When they can't climb in your head? Oh. I'll give you an example. I've been married three times. And one of my wives, I won't mention which one, could really, oh boy, this one could really go off on you. Anyway, one day, <clears throat> she went off on me. I mean, big time. I mean, the old hands on the hips and doing this and the whole thing. And I, I listened. I didn't say anything. I, I, there's a million things I wanted to say, but I didn't. And when she got, I said, are you through? And she said, yes. I said, I forgive you. Oh! Folks, if you don't think that woman wasn't mad then, you're dreaming. You're dreaming. She'd, she'd had a gun, she'd have killed me right there, I guarantee you. Instead of getting better, it got worse. Then it was to the point, if I had a gun, I'd shoot you and all that crap. But anyway, enough said about that. Uh, to friends and relatives. See, you're dealing with uh, friends and relatives. You know, those should be, be you know, th that's your support group normally, your friends and relatives. And if they choose not to support your decision, then you have to ask yourself, are you sure? Now, you, you're probably sure that they're, they're your relatives. But then you have to ask the next question, are you sure these other people are my friends? I doubt that a good friend would challenge a decision of another friend, no matter what it was. You follow me? Unless it was, you know, some kind of life-threatening thing. But as far as choosing a lifestyle, I, I don't think a friend would... A friend, now a friend, not an acquaintance, not somebody you got on Facebook, but a friend, they're not going to interfere. They're going to say, yeah, that's... That's your choice, dude. Go for it. It works. Good for you. But anyway, I, 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 you've actually given me a little chance to uh, say some things that I've been thinking about for a long time. 
because I hear this occasionally from viewers that, you know, we're, we're going to do this, but somebody thinks we shouldn't, or, you know, we're not sure, we're not sure about, you know, how that's going to be received by others. Uh, I, I, I hear that quite a bit, and, and, and my, I guess my standard answer would be, you know, you, you just take care of you. You know, when you can look yourself in the mirror and uh, you feel pretty good about what you see, and when you lay your head on your little pillow at night and you go to sleep and, and no worries, I think you're doing pretty good. So anyway, do your van living one day at a time. And if you have to move somewhere else, hey, man, there's a whole world out there. Trust me, there is. I've seen a lot of it. There's a whole world. But anyway, having said all that, and I guess I covered some of your points. Maybe I didn't. Oh, before I say that, if you want to... For those folks that have sent me stuff in the mail, I appreciate it. But if, if you want to send me something in the mail, folks, it's Rusty, P.O. Box, 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639, or PayPal to Rusty78609 at Yahoo.com. And uh, for those of you who have done that, I appreciate it. And this guy did a great job, and I appreciate this, too. I appreciate all the stuff I've gotten in the mail. And, uh, you know, you're just starting a new life. I don't know how old you are, so... You know, just stay with it, man. You know, don't let somebody else choose your destiny. Don't. Because if you start that, you're going, in my opinion, in my opinion, if you start letting other people dictate the lifestyle you're going to live, you're going down a path that's going to be damn hard to get off of. All right? So just be careful. Enjoy your life. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy USA made when you can. Drink plenty of water, three quarts a day will not hurt you. You'll get to be good friends with your restroom, and that ain't all bad. You'll feel better. Take deep breaths, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Do that several times a day. Why? Because it relieves stress. If you relieve stress, you lower your blood pressure. If you lower your blood pressure, that's good for you. Your little heart pump doesn't have to work so damn hard. And then stretch, walk, you know, keep your body in, in movement. And, uh, you know, it'll just make you feel better. And when you're healthy, when you feel good health-wise and up here, everything works fine. You'll be making the right decisions at the right moment. And when everything gets a little out of balance, sometimes it gets difficult. Anyway, guys, I hope, I hope I've helped you a little bit. If I haven't, well, you asked, you asked for my opinion. You got it. Adios. Bye-bye.